Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Michael, the one, the only, the Iron Horse Historian. Today, we will be discussing the Alco RS-11. Roots of the RS-11 can be traced all the way back to the RS-1. The RS-11 was designed to compete against the EMD General Purpose Locomotive. It was a brand new type of road switcher for Alco and was sold in both low and high hood. The RS-11 was first listed in Alco's 1956 catalog as a DL701. It was a good seller thanks to the 251B Prime Mover being more reliable compared to the previous 244 Prime Mover. The main competition to the RS-11 was the GP9. While in some regards the RS-11 was better, it was outmatched trying to compete against three additional and newer models such as the GP-20 and the GP-30. The R in RS-11 stood for road, the S stood for switcher, and the RS-11 had a total of 1800 horsepower. RS-11 had a top speed of 75 miles per hour, a tractive effort of 46,500 pounds, weighed in at 240,000 pounds, and measured in at 56 feet, 11 and 3 quarter inches. For the horn, they came built with a Nathan M3R1. On the inside, the RS-11 came built with a 4-cycle 251B V12 diesel engine, 4 GE 752 traction motors, and rode on a B-B wheelbase. A total of 19 railroads ran the RS-11. These include, but are not limited to, the Delaware and Hudson, the New Haven, and the Seaward Airline. Out of all 19, the railroad with the most RS-11s was the Norfolk and Western, with a total of 99. In second place came the Pennsylvania Railroad, with a total of 38. And in third place was the Southern Pacific, with a total of 37. The market for the RS-11 was impressive. A grand total of 462 units were sold. They were seen as far north as Canada and as far south as Peru. Also, it had greater horsepower, tractive effort, and faster acceleration compared to the EMD GP-7. However, despite these advantages and good sales, it wasn't enough for Alco to bounce back. Their future road switchers wouldn't be as big of a seller as the RS-11. Not only that, but Alco was two years too late to the road switcher market. Several examples of the RS-11 have made it into preservation. These include, but are not limited to, Toledo, Peoria, and Western number 400 at the Illinois Railway Museum, Morristown and Erie number 7215, formerly Northern Pacific number 910, is still in service on the aforementioned Morristown and Erie in New Jersey, and Buffalo Southern number 5010, formerly Delaware and Hudson 5010, is still in service on the Buffalo Southern in New York. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, please.